Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing how I budget when I attend conferences, whether it's a blogger conference or just a business conference. I'm gonna share how I break down the cost and pretty much know how much to save or how much money I will need in order to attend the conference. Without further ado, let's get started. So one of the first things that I do is I figure out what conference I'm attending, say it's Say it's blogger, I need to know the most important thing is for me is if it's a flight or if it's in town or if I'm driving. If you have attended blogger, you know recently it was in California. So just based off of like the different locations, and this is just honestly, these are not actual numbers. This is just more so helping you guys out to give you guys an idea of what I do when I'm trying to attend a conference. First thing is a flight. Now, depending on where the flight is coming from, let's say I'm flying out of my airport, we are going to do $400 for the flight. Now the hotel, depending on where the conference is at, the hotel may cost, let's see, $1,200. Now transportation. If you if you ever attended a conference before, you know that 90% of the time the hotels do not provide transportation to and from the airport. We are going to just do because that would include tips as well. Or maybe we won't include tips, we'll do tips separately. All right, so transportation to and from the airport and then a lot of times when you are out and about, the times that there's nothing going on, say nighttime. I know when I attended the Moms, the WOW Summit, it was in Chicago almost two years ago. People like the day before, well, it was in near Chicago. So a lot of people attended, you know, maybe went on like a day trip. Or if you're getting a rental car, this will go under transportation as well. And you would also include gas. Typically, I try to avoid driving, so, I know it's typically to and from the airport and maybe if I'm going to do some sightseeing depending on what the location is, I'm going to take like a Uber, maybe like a day trip. I'm going to put, or if people are going out to eat and you know, pretty much know or give an estimate and give yourself a leeway of how much you're going to spend because it's definitely going to vary. If you know you attended this conference and it's like, hey, we're having a, a dinner that Friday, you want to come or you've, you've heard that's what has happened in the past, make sure you include that in your transportation costs. So for transportation, I'm going to put $120 just to give me that lead way. Right now we have flight, hotel, transportation. Food is very important. Not all conferences pay for food. And if they do pay for food, it's typically when the conference is going on. We are going to do $140 for food. And again, if you don't spend this money, it can go back into your, you can do like the actual, and then you can do an estimate. So you don't necessarily have to do exactly this amount. And it's good if you oversave instead of under saving. So I put $140. I don't eat meat. Typically when I do go out to restaurants, I try my best not to make it an inconvenience for other people. So there's always salad or french fries or something that I could have, or a good side. We do 140 for this, and then food, transportation, tips. You're gonna have to tip the for the hotel, for the transportation if you're doing Uber or Lyft, for food, for the restaurant. You can include this in the food, but I'm just gonna put tips right over here. And again, it depends on how many days you're staying. Let's just say it's for four days. We are going to do $100 for tips. And then we are going to do, if you need child care, if you have to leave your children money, if you have to maybe go to the grocery store, whatever else apply that would apply to you, you would just continue to add. But for me, it's typically flight, hotel, transportation, food, tips, and maybe we'll do a miscellaneous. 
just in case something else comes up. The miscellaneous can be anything and I'm gonna just do 160 for miscellaneous. And then we're just going to do the total down here. In order for me to attend this conference, it's gonna cost pretty much $2,120. Now, how far away is this conference? Blog her, the next blog her is in New York. I live within driving distance, so this wouldn't really apply to me. If you are attending like um, a planner conference, I know they have one coming up in June or April or May, somewhere around there. I can't think of it off the top of my head. Whatever conference, how far in advance is this conference away? Let's say the conference, and I know the WOW Summit is going to be, I believe, in September or October. We are going to say this conference is a good six months away. What you're going to do is divide the 2100 by six months. Each month you need to save the 353. Now, with that being said, do you get paid weekly? Weekly or bi-weekly monthly and then the weekly cause bi-weekly you need to save $177 if you get paid bi-weekly and again if you get paid weekly you would you know just divide it again by four this number I hope this is very helpful like I said I've attended a lot of blogger conferences a lot of business conferences and this is how I do it I figure out how much the flight is, the hotel is, transportation, food, tips, miscellaneous items. I total it all together and then I divide it by the how many months the event is away. And then that's how total is right here. And then it's six months. This event is six months away and if I wanted to save monthly, I would save the 353. If I wanted to save bi-weekly, I would save the 177. You can do this whether it's for your kids' field trip, if it's for a the end of the year trip, if it's for prom, whatever. I use this formula for pretty much all aspects of my life. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section.